So in today's video, we're going to be doing another poster review. But before we get into it, I want to send a huge thanks to my sponsor for this video, CWC Hosters. Carry it with confidence, Hosters. I really, really appreciate them for sending this out. I really appreciate how awesome they was. You know, I didn't know where they were and I wanted. I didn't know what color I wanted. I didn't know anything technical about these things. I just knew I wanted a hoster. And they kind of helped me work with me and, you know, help me understand, you know, what I need, what I not need for what type of day work I'm going to be doing. Um, you know, colors, you know, I didn't know, did I want outside the waistband or inside the waistband? And I really didn't think I wanted an inside the waistband of Phoenix Carry because it just didn't seem comfortable. And I was like, you know what, I I'm going to get it and I'm going to try it. And these really good, they worked with me and helped me out. So I really, really want to send a shout out to them and say that I appreciate you guys for sending me the uh, hoster. And again, that is CWC hosters right there. Carry with confidence. I mean, that does have a nice little ring to it. Carry with confidence really like that and the red uh, I don't uh, the red was not there I did put the red on there to kind of hide the uh, addresses so as soon as you go you know I already opened the bag which uh, you know when you get it it will not be opened I opened it because it'll probably be 10 minutes from me trying to cut it open as soon as you open it you do feel that it has bubble wrap which I do like it keeps the package really nice and secure which you have in there you come with a or it comes with a parts bag which you get the thing that pushes the uh, hoster against you. So you keep a really tight seal between your body and your pants. And then it comes with these little uh, seals, I guess. I'll show you what those look like on uh, the uh, gun or the hoster. That way you guys can kind of see what everything is, where it goes and why you would need it. All right, so we'll set that to the side. Then we'll go, you know, this is where the music would enter if I knew how to edit, you know, like Thunderstruck or something. So here's the hoster. Put that to the side as well. Look at how pretty this hoster is. I don't think I've ever seen a cooler looking hoster. I mean, that carbon fiber and that orange, I mean, it looks really, really good. Like, I've already thought about, you know, you have this inside of your waistband and then pull it up. Even some people see it. I mean, the C, it looks custom. It makes it look like you know what you're doing, that you've got a gun. I mean, that orange. And then this, I live in Tennessee, so the orange matches our Tennessee logo really well. So I really like the orange. I didn't even think I wanted orange until they said, oh, you know, you know, they helped me out. And he's like, well, you maybe like orange. And he said, here, and they sent me a picture of what it looks like. So if you guys are curious, you know, this is your picture of your design. Uh, and this is what it looks like. And that way, you know, if you like it or not. And he sent me a red one with a red V and a red backing. And I did not like it. I like the orange so much better. So I'm really glad they did that. Because Keith said red. I was like, yeah, I love red. I'd have got it. But then when I seen the picture, I was like, no, orange is, orange is it. So look. This carbon fiber is a really nice, really nice. I mean, anybody that sees carbon fiber, you know it's expensive. And I mean, it looks cool. The orange makes it look like you really customized it. You know, I'm not going to customize my Glock orange, but I do like the hoster being orange. That right there is the extra piece that you get inside of the uh, little extra piece bag. And then as far as the, you know, these things right here. And I do believe you also get another one of these um, retention things, these little circles. I don't know if you can see them. These things down in there that really tightens it up or loosens it. Those little plastic pieces. So you do get, I think you get one of each. You get one of these. You get one of these little round things. And then you get one of these. Um, so, I mean, really, I mean, if something's going to break, it's probably going to be one of these things. Um, flip it over. This is what I really think is pretty cool. Look at the back. I mean, I've never seen a holster like this. And to, to see something like this, it just makes you like, wow, I mean, that's super cool. That orange. And then to see all the details. I mean... I think it's super cool. I really, really do. I mean, the orange just stands out. You know, if you drop it, like, say, I mean, it's on your hip or something, or not your hip, you're inside your waistband or you're carrying it, and you drop it. I mean, nine times out of ten, the heavy side is on this side, so when you drop it, you're going to be able to see where you dropped it at. Even if you're in the woods, you know, carrying a gun, and somehow it falls off, say, which I'm not sure it would ever happen, one of these clips break, both of them break, um, it falls out somehow, you can come back and I mean, you're not, not going to miss that. I mean, it's a bright orange. So that's really nice to have a bright orange color. Um, and it, it just looks cool. You know, you sit this down on the table, it catches people's eyes because it's the orange. I mean, it's, I mean, how many things are really orange that you see laying around, right? So this is super nice. I'm, I know I need to get off the orange topic, but you know, I'm just really liking this. And it's my first, uh, style holster like this. So I got to, you know, review it and how I like it. You know, this is my review. This is, 
You know, if anybody has something else they want me to review, send me your holster and I'll review it your way. But this is my review. Um, but it is a very pretty holster, and I'll get into what all this stuff is. So I'll show you how it works in a minute. I'll stand up and put it on my belt or my pants and inside the waistband. So you do have two pouches. Uh, this is a mag carrier, and this is a for your Glock 43X. It's a Glock 43X holster. I don't know if I already said that, uh, or I should have said that, but I didn't. Um, what it does, and I think it's a level one retention. That's all you do. There's my mag, fully loaded. You take it, and it only goes in one way, and the way it goes in for a right-handed person is awesome. So it goes in right here like this. You push in. You can reduce the retention or open it. You know, see, so, you know, you take it. It's a little bit of tightness before you can get it out, and it comes out. So I can take this and, I mean, shake it, shake it up and down. I mean, it, I, I probably throw this against the wall, and this is not come apart or come out. So it's got a really good retention on this, um, you know, and then when you need it, you just pull it, it comes out. So I do like that. And what I like also about it is if you can look, I don't know, if maybe you can see it from the back better, there's a certain way it goes. And so if you're right-handed, say it's inside your pants, you take your left hand, your right hand uh, is here, your left hand is here, you pull your mag out, which, you know, it's not my pants, so i got to hold it a little better. Your gun's here, and your finger's already there, so all you got to do is press that mag release, it's in, and good to go. But if it was able to do both sides, I mean, you grab it like this, and try to put it in your gun, you won't be able to. So I really like that they added it where you only have to do it one way. That's super nice design. So that goes in here, like that. Goes in like that. Push it in. And it does, that does not click. I've not heard it click on it. Then you take your Glock 43X, or this is what my holster is. They have multiple different styles for multiple different brands. I did one for the Glock 43X because that's my gun. And it does have a mag in it as well. Um, you know, they come with two mags, so I really like that it came with that. That's why I was like, you know, this only holds 10 rounds. This had 10 rounds, so you have 20 rounds. You get Glock 19, it holds 15. I mean, you're, you know, so you would like to have something that actually uh, allows you to carry more than just 10 rounds. 10 rounds are a lot, but it's not enough, I guess, if you compare it to Glock 19 or something. And I have already reduced the retention on this, uh, so I can get my gun in there, you know, really easy and stuff. So all you do is take it, put your gun here, and I kind of get a really good view on this. I'll put, hold it up. Put your gun, and just push in. You can hear it, and you feel it click, lock in. It did when I tightened it up, though. I already put it in once, and it clicked a lot louder, and then I loosened it up and to see the different retention, which one I like. And I like it how it is now, so it doesn't really click in. But, I mean, the gun's still not going to still not gonna fall out um, until you pull on it. So I do like that. I like that you can reduce your retention. Um, and I'm glad that it is inside the waistband, because if it wasn't, you know, I mean, you'd want a level two retention or something like that, so if it's on your hip, you know, somebody can't just come and pull it out like this. They can just pull it out, but if it's inside your waistband, so you're not going to worry about that. Who's going to come up and get up right next to you and be able to pull this out over your shirt, or, you know, lift your shirt up, grab this out, all that time you have time to react and be able to do something. So here it is. I'm not for sure what the, uh, these are for. I'm not. Um, it, uh, it's kind of cool to have though. Maybe you can, maybe make it as a lanyard to take some something through here and like hold it. I'm not for sure on that. Um, but you know, like I said, I'm doing a complete review on it. I'm not 100% sure. I would do a two week, uh, one week, sorry, review of this, and I will know more about it um, and tell you more about it, how it fit, how it feels um, after a week of wearing it. So I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna put it on. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of how it goes on and what it looks like being put on and is it comfortable to sit down Oops. take twist my turn light get around no, it's not the uh, best thing to do and or nobody likes to hear it so there it is still got it i don't know if you guys i do believe you can see here so you take it you under your belt so you can get some room to put it down in there. And once it's there, you take and you lift your shirt up to make it easier to see. And I hold it by the gun is how I do it. Stick it in, kind of pull your underwear up, I guess. That way you get more of a, you know, it doesn't rub against you as easy or it doesn't, you know, it slides in easier instead of your underwear going up, you know, way down in there. Put it on these two clips on the side. Uh, I do believe if you want to, you can also put your belt through it, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, this time I'm not putting my belt through it in another video so you guys can see the different ways I'm just going to do it on my pants. So, take, 
skip an arm. You get the other one arm, that way you know they do good. Sit down. Drop my shirt. Um, once you get one, you can get the other one fairly easy. Push down. Let the other one push it down as well. Take your belt. Pull it back tight. Which this is not my everyday belt. This is just a belt that I have, uh, you know, wanted to get something a little easier for the uh, the video to put on and off, or to slide in and out. And just uh, to make it tight in. So, here it is. That's completely on. Um, you guys can tell me if you think that it's, you know, is it concealed carry? Do you see it sticking out, protruding or anything? It's under the side. On the side, I do believe you can see it, but I am, I'm 130 pounds. I'm not the biggest, maybe if he's bigger, you know, it might cover it better, but I'm so small, you know, where the shirt, this is not the biggest shirt I could get. I could get a bigger one, but it's just kind of a tighter shirt on me. Um, so maybe a bigger shirt or a hoodie or something to cover this better. But for me, um, the shirt does not, I can go put another one on and maybe help me maybe in my week review, you know, instead of talking about the holster, I'll show you guys the different clothing, the different styles, point it out more into a holster review. This is just the, you know what I'm saying? So here's that side, here's this side. So obviously the gun side, because it does have the you know handle, it does stick out more than the mag. So then when you need it, grab it, lift your shirt up, and then pull, the gun's out, and you're ready to go. And say like you're reloading, take it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not rough with my gun, and take it. And like I said about the mag, take it, grab it right here, and you, you know, already have it in the position of putting it in, instead of it being upside down, already in the position of putting it in, Starts and loaded, and then you're good to go for another 10 rounds. So I really, really do like the idea of having the extra, um, the extra mag uh, loader right here. See, just slide it in, cover it back up, and you're good to go. So um, sitting down, I've already sat down a little bit in it. Um, I have, you know, wore the coaster a little bit just to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, it doesn't. It does kind of affect like spinning over. You can feel right now it's digging, not digging in, but you can feel it. You can feel that against you. You can feel the coldness of the gun, gun, I guess. And you can feel more like, you know, bending over because like you can feel it more pressed against you. That's the way I'm looking for, more against you. So if you guys, you know, don't care, kind of, you know, like right now, I have no idea. Sorry. I have no idea the gun is on me right now. I mean, I know it is. But you don't feel it. I mean, it's such a lightweight gun. And I think the package on the package it says the UPS or USPS, whatever, says four ounces with the package, the extra screws and stuff, and then just the holster. So it's four ounces with all that. It's not too heavy, and the Glock's you know not that heavy either. Fully loaded, extra mag. You know, you have ten rounds, ten rounds, the gun, the holster, and everything like that. You you know, it's not that heavy. It really isn't. You know, I, mean, I could walk around all day, and I carry the Glock 23X on my side never felt it you know i mean you never know it's on you but with this i mean it feels really comfortable it's got more stability you know it's i mean I, if i stood all day i don't think i'd ever know this gun was on me i'm just walking around i'd never have any idea the gun was on me lifting my leg up you can kind of feel it down here uh other leg can't feel it as much because it kind of curves differently um but if i sit down you know i kind of i don't sit down properly i guess because it's a subconscious thing you know i don't want to sit down straight down like this i kind of lean back a little bit more maybe it's because i'm thinking that i might protrude into my body uh but after a week of wearing it i'll probably try a little bit more things out with it because this is brand new um i'm kind of just really excited to have it so i'm not going to try to wear it out um so you know i'll do a lot more in the next video talk about it more of you know a week review i'll know a lot more about it i have sat down it's not uncomfortable sitting down you may lean back a little bit more but I mean, it's not uncomfortable, but if you was doing it all day, every day, like say you have to do something, I like, you know, on the side, you grab stuff, it hits here. I mean, what's, what's gonna hit here? You know, and you're gonna protect everything in the front. You know, on the side, you're gonna be more careless, I guess, like I grab something, and then bend over, and you kick. I mean, it just, this feels like more really good uh, protection for your gun and everything like that. And then when you need it, like I said, lift your shirt up, you've got it. And I like that the trigger guard, trigger's completely covered. And then on the back, it comes all the way up to the side, the very tip of the Glock. I mean, it, here's the, uh, the orange piece, and then the Glock just slides, you know, they're perfectly aligned. So I do like that. It kind of really fits the Glock fairly well. And I do believe in some states, 
that this is open carry, and I do believe I have heard some people say that, it, but if you have a open and a concealed carry permit, this is completely fine. Nobody ever say nothing because it's legal. Some states are open carry only, and you have to have a concealed carry permit, or I mean, if you have a concealed carry permit and then you're in a state that's open carry, in you know, this is legal. Some states open carry, you know, may vary. This is a may vary for open carry, but if you want to go with concealed carry, flip that over and you're completely good. And I don't think, I mean, showing off, this is a show off poster if you're doing an open carry like this, you know. You know, look, I've got my mag here, I've got my gun here, and I mean, you just grab it. And I mean, I don't know the proper way to do it. I grab it kind of like this, you know, by the handle completely, and then I can pull up, and then grab it, just kind of slide and aim, you know, together. And I'm gonna drop it in. I mean, it's it's so terrific, and I like the fact that I had that. Other than the other top holster I have, this is this is nice. It really is. And you can loosen the belt up a little bit. And as you can see, I mean, it's not sliding. It's not shaking. It's really tight on your belt. It's not gonna. I mean, if I, you know, I'm not gonna. I can feel right there when I jump. If my belt is a little looser. I don't know if I tighten it up. It may. Um, I mean, jumping up and down. It feels like it may. It does, you can see my pants, you see that kind of wiggles, so you can feel it kind of hit down here a little bit, um, but side to side, I mean, this is completely secure. And I guess the up and down is because my pants, you know, so it's not completely tight against me uh, because this is weighing it down and I can't cord it too tight because then it jabs into me. But I mean, if I'm just uh, casually walking, you know, it's, it's good. It's not, you know, who's gonna be jumping up and down while you have this in there? If you need to take it out, you know, I mean, just take your gun. I didn't have to hold it. I don't know why I did that. Makes it easier, I guess, because there ain't no, you know, um, give. See, it does have a little bit of give. And my belt's not completely tight, so me holding it is just going to make things faster. Um, you know, doing it now, jump it up and down, it's not going to do it side to side. I mean, there's nothing, nothing's going to happen like that. But when the gun's in it, it does weight it down a little bit. So I guess that is the uh, orange holster. I don't know why I'm so... Uh, I guess, I don't know, something seems, I guess it does seem off the way I'm talking. I guess I'm more catching my breath or something. Something's different. I can feel it with the video. But, I mean, I've done a good review. I told you guys about the holster. Um, I like it. Uh, 10 out of 10, I do believe, for having, I mean, it's comfortable. Having this, customer service, um, everything, I do believe I'd give it a, it's 9.9, .9, we'll just say, or a 9. We'll give it a 9 because, uh, you know, I don't think I was anything a 10. But I'll give this a nine because I like that I have a Glock holster for my Glock. You know, you put your Glock in here. Then you take your mag. You've got a mag holster, especially for a Glock 43X that only has 10 rounds. Now I got 20, and that's five less than a Glock 19. So if you've got a Glock 43X for concealed carry, you know, or something like that, you want the more rounds. Here you go. This is the perfect option, especially if you feel like a Penix carry. And I'm growing on it. I really am. You know, I didn't think I'd like it, but I do think that's nice. And then say like if you're ever you know, out in a situation where you don't have your mag in, I mean, look how fast, I mean, you could really get into it if you wanted to go fast. And you see, that's, you know, sideways in this, front ways, left ways, and then back ways, I don't, I mean, it is back ways. You're not gonna be able to see it like that. Um, open, or covered completely up. Here it is, front, side, left, and back as well. You know, I'm really trying to think of all the things. I'm trying to really give a good detailed review. That's why I'm going on so much. I'm trying to think of everything that I can add to make this video better and to make you really want a holster if you're looking for one, make you really know, do I want an appendix carry holster? Do I want one with a mag? Do I want one that's orange, black? You know, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to give you guys every idea, every point of view that I can. So that's why this video is probably 20 minutes long or whatever it's gonna be. And um, I do appreciate if you've watched it all and I will try to maybe fasten things up if I do do this a lot more. That way you guys can see everything, have a short video, and be done with it. But this is still, you know. It's my first few videos. I'm doing pretty good, I think. I appreciate it.